wonderful forecast. All right, now we get to the real nitty gritty. Mara Vett is here with all the things to do this weekend. Don't you love this restaurant? I just wish you would give you this is this is my favorite segment <laughs> of the week, I think. I <laughs> Especially when you bring out the wine, you know. And we bring out wine. Oh, you got restaurant. drunk last time. I said, don't bring out the wine in the segment yeah, when, I'm, when I come out here. Right above the La Costa Beach. Place. This is. I said to Michael right before, I've never seen you with your clothes on, but that's yeah. because we <laughs> hang out at the beach. It's not. Uh -oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen. Okay, we can, we can round up, you guys. We have uh, Michael's restaurant. I was eating here last night, and I have to say, one of the most incredible meals I've had and in forever. And one of the most forever. gorgeous places. Too. Thank you. It's well, been around forever. It's been around for how long? This Thirty-one is, years. This is Michael McCarty, the man himself. Nice to see you all. He, yes. I mean, known around the world as the guy who really started California cuisine. It's all right? about the green. It's all about the vegetables. <laughs> you see, we were just at the farmers market yesterday. I thought it was all about right? the wine. And it's all about the wine. Well, tell us, Michael, what's going on with the wine? He's the first. Vineyard in Mal you had the first vineyard in Malibu. In 1985, right? we planted our first vineyard. This is our new release, the 2007 Malibu Vineyard Rambla Pacifico Pinot Noir. Beautiful. Nice. And the great thing about Pinot Noir is it goes with everything. Okay. Goes like, with the road's not there anymore, but I'm glad the wine is still there. We're actually under construction on the road. <laughs> I know. 26 years later. Okay. So are these foods for the season? Or yeah, this is a new okay. fall menu. So we have Chef Michael Stern keeping in with the Michael tradition. Yes. And tell us a little I, bit about I'm what these the beautiful dishes are. And of course, Dorothy's going to dig in. Uh, I, I had I this last night. I'm just trying to use as much of the fall produce as possible. We got squashes everywhere, a lot of beets. What kind of ravioli um, is this? Yes, uh, it's that. a kabocha squash ravioli. And these are the kabocha squash oh that we got at the market look, yesterday. This is yeah, this is raw. And, and then Dorothy's having after. after. Exactly. Yes. And then what is this here? The scallops. We got scallops with, what? with some celery <laughs> okay. root puree, <laughs> a beet jus, look and some at lobster this, mushrooms. Dorothy. And the lobster mushrooms. Wild king salmon, salmon. salmon. artichokes. Everything's um, super fresh. It's all about farm to table. Yeah, right? keeping it really simple. Let the ingredients well, speak for itself. Look at this little itself. thing. Oh, some little quail. <laughs> Free range quail. And then we got a core boot of pork chop with some pork belly in it also. Yes. And then tell us this really cool thing that you guys are doing for guests. You can go farmer's market shopping. Once a month on Wednesdays, we do a far Santa Monica farmer's market meetup, which 12 or 14 people come. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We have a little coffee and cappuccino and little cinnamon buns that we make. It's in our cookbook. Welcome to Michael's. There you go. And okay. then we go down to the market. We survey everything. We buy everything like we do every Wednesday. And then mm -hmm. we come back and cook it and eat it. And Andrew pours some great wines. This is GM Andrew. We love the Andrew. So how do you sign up for that? You just go to you, the farm, farmer's market? You can market go to our or? website or you can okay. call the restaurant. It's, yeah. it's the next one is on November the 10th. So there you have Sounds it. Good. Yeah. So Michael Michael's here from New York right now, so we got to let you go so you can catch your plane, I'm right? back. I got to go to that farmer's market on Saturday morning at, at, at the Green Market at Union Square. There you have All it. Right. Thank Michael's you, guys. Farm market. Awesome. The best awesome. ravioli in the universe. Okay. And I'll see you at the beach. So now, now that the love fest in your continues. In my fashion week, you guys. Fashion week has arrived in L.A. All right. It's the, the I know fashion week, people. Starting this weekend. And we have some of uh, L.A.'s top designers here. So we have Ashton here. This is his, come here. Come here, Ashton. Yeah. Love the Ashton. Now tell us about this look here. What is your inspiration for for, fall, for spring 2011? Femininity, obviously. No, <laughs> completely androgynous. Androgyny. Um, masculine silhouettes and detailing on feminine. It's really empowering to me. I love seeing the the strong shoulder, the bondage. The, Mary Patty the, Smith. The, the Mary bondage. Patty Smith. Yeah. It's wow. a what rock bondage. and roll collection that's made of recycled water bottles. So that's the cool thing. So this is made out of recycled water bottles, you guys. A company out of crazy? Seattle called wow. Reefing. I love the black and white tie. Yeah, very, very beautiful. Thank you. So thank you, Ashton. You and then we have our next look is from yeah. Skin Graph. Now look at this thing. This is out of control. Tell us, we have designer Johnny Johnny here, and tell us a little bit about this. Uh, this this season we're inspired by this this kind of. African tribal look and futuristic. Like, very Jones futuristic. Energy. There's a lot of Grace Jones in this. It looks almost the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Medieval. Armor, Joan of Arc, all of these references. And we love to do leather. We love silks. All like natural materials. Super, super beautiful. Thank you. And then of course we have Anthony Franco. So his is kind of the most normal, if you if you will. <laughs> but I mean, they're all gorgeous. So this is your this is part of your men's collection yes, from the next um, season, right? This is one of my men's looks, and I was inspired by 1930s boardwalk and. And I do a lot of men's suiting, and I kind of incorporated what I'm doing with cotton right now and doing a lot of beautiful men's suiting. The fabric with it. of our yeah. lives. And then look <laughs> at this girl. I mean, I can't get enough of this. This is beautiful. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about this. This is sort of like inspired by a tattoo. I have a lot of tattoos on my body that aren't filled in yet. Uh -huh. So <laughs> I love this fabric. So it sort of shows how the florals mix with like the emptiness of beautiful. the ink, and it's just really soft and feminine. Dorothy, I can see you in this. <laughs> and what do you think about Bobby's outfit today? Yeah. <laughs> too, too awful? Yeah, fashion boys? designers, uh, what do you think? <laughs> We'll just take it in a little bit. <laughs> Does yeah. he need a couple of tabs? Would you, would you so, prefer me in this? Yeah, I, I mean. think so. I think so. So anyway, they're going to have um, 
um, the fashion show uh, next Wednesday at Exchange LA, which is a beautiful stock exchange building that's been redesigned um, from the 1930s, and that's going on Wednesday night. But the after party is open to the public okay, at that's 10 o'clock. Cool. So I mean, most of the fashion shows are open only to the industry. This is your chance to see the see the looks and have a good time. So thank you guys. Thank you so fashion week, awesome. Thank you. Thank you okay, and now food. And now we're going to more food. Now we're the, you the Pico Festival is going on this Saturday. Um, we have Hello. the organizer here. This is. Hi, I'm David Ruiz. This is David. And I'm your outfit. Thank you. This is the fifth annual Pico Festival, right? Yes, it's the fifth annual Pico Festival. And it takes place from what street to what street? Uh, in uh, on Pico in Santa Monica from Sentinella to Main Street. And it's 11 to 4. 11 to 4. Uh, free admission. Free Do admission, all the burgers free, come free with everything. knives? <laughs> yeah. And so some of the restaurants are gonna, we're going to have they're going to have tons of food. This is Upper West. This is a great new restaurant right on Pico Boulevard. Oh my gosh, what's on that corn? That's this uh, is Chef a Nick. Hello, it's a lote style. It's got cotija and smoked elote. paprika and uh, avocado butter. Yeah, and wow. so they were just telling oh me, gosh, and this I is the owner, this. Elad, right? Elad, yes. Elad. They were just telling me, Dorothy, this How is all like about it? sexy like comfort food. It's messy. It's messy. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty messy. <laughs> Bobby, are you going to do any eating or what? <laughs> get, get, get your burger on. Stand I am, a, I am a burger expert, but first of all, I mean, you, oh my gosh, so good. can you even cut into this? Let's see. Yeah, yeah of course. Go ahead. So this is really awesome. Okay. And then what they're going to okay. also have, you guys, are um, these classic cars, so right? Stuff yeah, on we'll my have uh, over 50 classic cars on display. Um, right here, we have check out, a. Check out this car, you guys. This is oh beautiful. This is a goodness. 57 Bel Air. We love that. And then over here, we have a 1958 Impala. A 58 Impala, gorgeous. Wow. And then, of course, they're going to have crazy people in costumes. So we have the little artiste here. We have Rembrandt and Warhol hey. made a special appearance for, for the event. And then one of the other restaurants, you guys, that we're going to have at the Pico Festival is Bite Bar and Bakery. This is the owner, Elizabeth. And they have all this beautiful food. It's a bakery by day. And we're a cafe bakery by day in the evenings, Friday and Saturday. Currently, we do a wine bar. Yeah, and it's a wine nice. bar by night. And small plates. So very, very cool. Okay, there's nothing I like better than wine and cheese and cupcakes. It's supposed to be the, the things that I love most. It's all about eating so lots of different kinds of foods like and great desserts. and cupcakes? <laughs> this is just joy. Yeah, right so here. they'll be one of the vendors at the big, at the big uh, event. And of course, they're going to have music. On the main stage, you're going to have Upground. This is a local band. We love them. Somebody's been tweeting me all morning about you guys. And you boys are going to take it away. Dragging, and you know that the reels don't need, need to wait. Good day, LA.